pandemic living has left women feeling more exhausted and burned out than ever. So psychotherapist and author Andrea Carella is here to help us with stress reduction and give us some energy boosting tips. Welcome, Andrea. Thank you for having me. Sure. Tell us why you took such an active interest in work-life balance. Yes. Well, I, I'm a woman, a business owner, and uh, was just about to have a daughter. And, and so really reflecting, I was in this inflection point in my life about my identity and ident redefining what that looks like and realized that focusing on my spiritual well-being and my physical well-being was really important because I needed more capacity. Mm -hmm. um, and so I went on this journey on honoring that so that I could still be at 100% in my work and could still be present as a, as a mom. And so writing the book was really a journey for myself uh, with the wisdom to help support me and so many women uh, can relate to this reality. We certainly can. I think the percentage of women that work is very high mm -hmm. and many of them mothers as well. So thankfully at least w there's paternity leave now for fathers as well. Yes. But a brunt of it does fall on the female. Yes, it does. Why is that? <laughs> well, you know, we've only been in the workforce since the 1950s. I, well, before that as well, but in a big influx in that moment. And so it's only been 70 years. And uh -huh. so we've just basically added work on top of what we were already doing before. Right. And, um, you know, there's only so much, you know, so many hours in a day. And so I think really being able to honor our boundaries and our time, being able to say no mm -hmm. is critical, but it's also disruptive, right? It can be disruptive for ourselves and breaking out of that honoring of what we need and also for the systems that need to adapt to. So. And a lot of females are pleasers, women. Maybe, you know, it's tough for us to say to our boss, no, I need more t time or less time at work. How, mm -hmm. how do you do that? How do you get the courage to say what you need? Yes. Well, you know, I think one is really really realizing okay how am i how am i having the impact that i want to have and am i serving from my overflow or from my deficit and so if you're finding that you're you're struggling and you're really serving from your deficit then it's a really wonderful time to really reflect and re reset and reevaluate. Mm -hmm. And my book offers different tips that can help people. And the final point was the feminine freedom method that we wanted to address. Yes. What does that encompass? Yes. So a lot of times we, we keep things stuck in our body. Uh, as a trauma therapist for the past 17 years, I've learned how we can, we, things can get stuck in our mindset, in our body. And so the feminine freedom technique really encompasses breath work, um, sound work, and movement. Mm -hmm. Because what that does is it allows us to get out of our head, out of those stuck paradigms and ways of being, and really allows us to create more space, more of a blank canvas, so that we can create whatever we want from that place. But first, we have to clear things out first, and the Feminine Freedom Method does that. All right, Andrea, if people want to get the book, where do they go? Yes, they can go to Amazon. I have it on Audible as well. So Wonderful. They can and is there it. a website that they could find you? Sure, uh, www.andreacarella.com. Thank you so much. You've shed a lot of light. And the women out there, it's time to get balanced, right? Yes, definitely. <laughs> All right, we'll be right back.